talking to the executive producer of the Bronze Lens Film Festival. First of all, this is an amazing event. Yes. This media brunch, mixer, whatever you want to call it. But uh, you guys have just announced some exciting news. Ten years for this amazing festival. What do you think is the magic of Bronze Lens? Oh, I think people feel welcomed here. They feel a sense of uh, camaraderie to be in the room with filmmakers and other creatives that are doing what they're doing. And uh, some people aren't in communities that have the culture that Atlanta has. And so coming to Atlanta and then coming to Bronze Lens in Atlanta is very special for a lot of people because they just don't get this. So you announced that you're in your third year as an Oscar qualifying festival. So how excited again are you guys about that opportunity? We're very grateful to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences for designating Bronze Lens as an uh, Academy Award qualifying film festival. And <clears throat> we have amazing films. That also is what makes us a little different because we I've had filmmakers who tell me what I, I got in this festival and that festival and that festival, but I didn't make it into Bronze Lens. But Deidre has such an exacting eye, Deidre McDonald, and uh, she really just chooses the best of the best. So we're excited. Last year, our best winner uh, went on to make the Academy Award shortlist for short films. They didn't make it to the final five, but we were just over the moon about that. That little film showed at Bronze Lens. So the ones this year are equally as good, and uh, we will be having a special screening of all of our nominated films in the Sharks category on Thursday night, August 22nd at the Hyatt Regency. How does it feel to be a launch pad for so many amazing stars out today, like Ava DuVernay, like Issa Rae? Those guys all came through the Bronze Lens Film Festival when many people didn't even know their names. So how does it feel to have been sort of that springboard for this amazing talent? Well, you know, I, I don't know that I would take credit for being a springboard for them. We are grateful that on their journey they came through Bronze Lens. Ava was an unknown filmmaker, you're right. She was more known in Hollywood as a publicist, and that was her very first film that she brought to Atlanta. She then went on to create um, a firm that is now Array, which was a film distribution network, and we were one of the inaugural members of that. So that got us publicity in the New York Times and the LA Times, and we were like four months old at that point in time. So Ava brought her wealth of uh, connections to us. In the case of Issa Rae, Issa was known for her, Issa Rae was known for her webisode series, but no one had pulled her out and said you're special because you did this webisode series. And so we were grateful to be able to honor her. And then she went on to. HBO and Insecure, and she allowed us to show the first episode of Insecure before anybody saw it. We screened it at Bronze Lens because of that special relationship that we had. So, as I had mentioned, we have been trying to uh, honor amazing women in front of the camera and behind the camera since we started because ours were the stories that were least told. And we've had some amazing filmmakers to be able to uh, showcase their work. And then the Women Superstars Luncheon, of course, uh, just gives a highlight and a, a spotlight to all. Of, we've honored 48 women, Ray, over the past nine years. 48 women. Can you give us a sneak peek of what's to come for this new? <laughs> I can't get anything. Nothing. <laughs> All right, well, we're looking forward to the festival. Can't wait. We will be there. And I uh, just can't wait for that opening night film. We can't wait for the Women's Superstars Luncheon, the Brothers Brunch, all those exciting events. We cannot wait to, to be a part of that. So congratulations. Did you mention who's at the brunch for the Brothers? No, no, no. Let us know. No. We've got two of the exonerated five who are going to be our guests for the Sunday Brunch with the Brothers. And based on a conversation I just had, we might have three or four okay. of them here for the festival. But we're very excited about that because as I said their story most of all exhibits the power of film to change perspective and to change lives and we just want it to be a platform to bring all of those kinds of stories forward so that's why we extended the invitation to those guys.
All right, so we're talking to actress Reese Odom. Your film, Smoke, was just announced it was going to be nominated for Best Feature. Yeah. So how excited are you? I'm beyond excited. I didn't expect that. I was like, wait, I thought they were just naming the features. But no, we were nominated for Best Feature Film this year. I'm so excited. On their 10th anniversary at that. Yeah. I've been a part of Bronze Lens for years, and now it's like this film is like on their 10th anniversary. I'm excited. So let's talk about it. Tell us about your character. Well, I play one of the lead characters. I'm Natasha Marshall, a um, attorney that's actually trying to defend the person who um, had the thing. I'm not trying not to give the story away. <laughs> I defend the person who had the issue happen to them, and it's based on a true story of a woman who actually had her kids killed in front of her. So, you know, my character, of course, is not specific to the actual attorney, but she wanted to kind of show that side of how stuff works in the law. Like, it's not really that easy for attorneys to, to decide what happens because some of them are emotionally in it and some of them have situations that may have been similar that kind of, you know, skew their ways of doing things. So, like, myself and Blue Kimball play the attorneys, which is interesting because, you know, you saw us in other films together. So we're going at it the whole time. So that's going to be really interesting for people to see. All right, so we're talking to the owner of Mercedes Benz of Buckhead, Ms. Baranko. How are you? Ray, I am absolutely wonderful. I'm, doing ha I'm having a great time. This is a wonderful event. I'm having fun. Now, before we talk about this amazing car, <laughs> got to say, what was it about the Bronze Lens uh, mixer here that you, that you wanted to have it here? Because they've had it all around town, but this is the first time they've actually had it here at this dealership, this newly renovated dealership. So what made you say yes to have them come on down to you? Well, first of all, it was Kathleen Bertrand who came and asked me. And when she came, we were in a hot mess. And I said, Kathleen, if we're ready, then we're ready to host you. And as luck would have it, we did finish the renovation in time to have it. I have been a fan of Bronze Lens for, well, for 10 years. I may have missed one in those 10 years, but I haven't missed many. And looking at the film, going back in time uh, over those 10 years, I could, I'm telling you, I was at almost every one of those. So it was an easy yes, and we have not had an event in the dealership since we renovated in this wonderful space. So I said, well, these filmmaker people types, they'll know how to make us look good. <laughs> and that they did. All right, so what can you tell us about this amazing car? Because this is beautiful. Well, first of all, let me say, Mercedes invented the automobile. <laughs> this is the AMG. And we are one of the few AMG performance centers in the country. So that's a pretty special recognition to be able to you can purchase an AMG from other dealerships, but when you get one from the Performance Center, and what you see on the other side of this is an, a customer interactive um, um, computer where you can actually order your vehicle directly and, and have it uh, put together like you want it. Now this is a 63, which is a 12 cylinder. This is a bad boy. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, and you see it's just fabulous. Yeah, it is. It is, I will say, the finest automobile made. And you really can't get any better than this. You guys, come on, let's take a look. All right, so we're talking to the founding artistic director, Ms. Deidre McDonald. You guys just announced this exciting lineup of films for this year's festival. But one in particular is the opening night film, Don't Let Go, which stars David Oyelowo and Storm Reid. Let's talk about that one. Well, it is a psycho thriller, and we were actually approached, and it was like we would be very interested in screening this, and we're very thankful for the opportunity to be able to screen it. also have a, the largest number of films in the festival's history this year so let's talk about that as well it's amazing I just kept and our judges just kept saying oh this is good this is good and so we have so many different categories and because we are an Academy Award qualifying festival in the shorts we get a lot of shorts and uh, so we do have quite a few shorts 
and uh, all shorts all night is uh, well all of the shorts category is sponsored by BET and the nominees for the awards are going to be on uh, Thursday night it's called all shorts all night and that's a really wonderful event we have a DJ we've got we mix it up a little bit we show the shorts and the winner in that category will be able to apply for the Academy Awards in the shorts category. So this is our third year having that designation as the festival. And how hard is it trying to pick these films? Because I'm sure you get thousands and thousands of films submitted each year, but how hard is that process? It's very hard because uh, you see good stories, uh, you see what people are intending to do. So what we want to have is the whole package. A really good story, really good acting, technically excellent. So when everything comes together, then that even makes it more difficult. But uh, I really am a stickler for trying to have everything. You don't want to see something and say, oh, that's out of focus, or that sound sounds bad. So this is the best of the best of what we get in all categories, actually. Well, congratulations again, and we can't wait to Check out the festival. Hi, this is Rose Scott, and I just want to say when I am out in Atlanta, I ride in style. That's and right, that's right. Ray Cornelius, That's right. up front. We ride in style. We ride in style. <laughs>